Welcome back to Digital Marketing by Gina. My name is Gina Mocentowicz and I've worked as a digital marketer for the last eight years. I've worked as a consultant for agencies and for private companies and I'm here to help you with your digital marketing goals for 2022. If you're new to this channel, the goal is to empower and inspire those of you just starting out your digital marketing journey so we can get your foot in the door at your dream digital marketing job. Now, a lot of you have really enjoyed my recent videos on how to build a portfolio website to give you a little edge in the job market. And I'm really glad it's given you some actionable steps to get you going. That's why today I wanted to talk about something that I don't feel like is talked enough about when building a portfolio website, and that is the web hosting. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you know I love breaking things down into actionable steps to get you going where you need to be faster to help you reach your goals. And that is why today we are breaking down the top three web hosting companies for a portfolio website. And we're diving into three in particular, Hostinger, Bluehost, and WP Engine. Now, brief, brief intro. I wanted to give some context. I know a lot of you out there are beginners, just getting into digital marketing, just familiarizing yourself with the world of tech. So let's talk about what is a web hosting company. Web hosting is what stores all the files that live inside of your website. It supports and stores everything related to your data. Now, a great analogy I love is to actually think of it as a house. So your house is what stores all of your precious belongings, everything you own. And that is similar to the role that a web host plays. Now, some of the other terms that you'll see when people are talking about web hosting companies are domain and SSL certificate. Now, think of domain as the address. Let's think of it as the address of this house if we're continuing this analogy. So it is what you are going to search in the browser URL bar when you're navigating to a website. So an example would be if we wanted to go to a website in the URL, we would search digitalmarketingbygina.com. That is the domain of a website. Now, an SSL certificate, also known as a secure sockets layer, it's what makes your website secure, encrypted, and safe for those visiting. And when you purchase web hosting, a lot of the time you will also get this digital certificate known as an SSL, giving your visitors the peace of mind that their data is safe and it's encrypted secure website. It's also the minimum standard right now for all websites to have. So Google will prioritize those in search rankings that have an SSL certificate. You will designate this by when you look at a URL, if it has HTTPS, that means it gets the SSL certificate versus it just being HTTP. Now on this channel, we've talked previously about Squarespace and Wix, and a lot of these CMS platforms will include web hosting services in your overall payment plan. So I wanted to mention that as well. You can proceed with including that in your payment plan, or you can choose a different web hosting company. Now let's get into the top three web hosting companies for a digital marketing portfolio website. I've used all three, so I'm very excited to dig in with you. Number one, Hostinger. They are my current favorite. They have over 29 million users in 178 countries, and they actually have a new sign up every five seconds. They've really had a lot of growth and expansion on the market. As many of you know that have been following me for a while, I love building websites. I've been building websites for over 10 years and I've built a lot of portfolio websites that showcase different skills and I continue to do that because I find it really powerful, but I'm also actually currently building a wedding website for my future wedding. So it's definitely something that when I'm looking at a great tool, I want something that will make my life easier. I'm looking for efficiency because I have a full-time job and I really want to streamline and get things done as fast as possible while also being as sleek and sophisticated as possible. Now what stood out to me about Hostinger is the value for their plans. Their plans actually start as low as $1.39 USD per month. So really great price point but what is impressive to me is the number of features and two in particular that I want to dive into Number one is their customer service. They have this amazing live chat functionality 24 seven, 365 days a year. 
So that's something that, especially if you're a beginner and you're just starting to build a website and you don't really know that much about web hosting, this is a great way that you can have someone to always reach out to and answer your questions. Now, I know a lot of my subscribers are international and the great thing is, again, you don't have to be in a Canada or USD time zone to get that customer support when you need. And they also have customer service reps that speak over 20 languages. So it will help you with that efficiency there again. Now, second, as a marketer, I cannot help but be impressed by the UX of their dashboard or called their control panel. It's very easy to use, very intuitive, and I love that everything is centered in this beautiful interface at your fingertips. It's easy to find information about your SSL certificate, how to renew your plan, to add a subdomain, etc. Now this stuff gets me really excited, so I wanted to give you a little sneak peek into my account of what it looks like. Let's set up our hosting since I already have a domain. What I love, similar to what I've shown you previously when building a website, is personalization. I'm building this site for myself. It's a portfolio website, and I will select that I do have experience creating. But this is great that you can personalize based on if this is the first website you've ever built. You can even build your own website with their internal website builder, if you're looking for an all-in-one solution. Now we'll select what platform we're using. With WordPress being the most common CMS, they actually optimize for WordPress, focusing on speed and SEO. However, in this case, I'm using a CMS called Drupal. I have a domain name already I'll use, and then we just click finish setup. Super quick, super sleek, super easy to use with that added personalization to cater the features. Going into the control panel, it shows you about your order, all the basics of your subscription, but also the added ability to add a website, a subdomain, redirects, databases, even set up a custom email address if you'd like. Now I partnered with Hostinger on this video and because they know my audience are working towards getting their dream digital marketing jobs, they have offered a special promo code. For a two year subscription, you're gonna get 86% off and for a one year subscription, you will get 70% off. Really great savings to help you get that portfolio website up and running. Now, all you have to do to take advantage of this special promo code is click the link down in my description and that will take you to the Hostinger website. You can then choose what plan you're looking to purchase and add my promo code digital marketing by Gina at checkout. Now, if you have any other very specific questions of things you're looking for, features, etc., just leave them down in the comments below. Now moving on to our next web hosting company, Bluehost. Bluehost had to be on this list. They are arguably the most well-known web hosting company, and that's partially because they've been around since 2003. I actually hosted my very first website I ever made over 10 years ago on Bluehost. So it's a very popular choice used by over 10 million websites worldwide. Now for Bluehost, it's very easy to get started, to navigate their website. They have a more basic set of features, so it's really easy to find what you're looking for. Their plans start as low as $2.95 USD per month. Bluehost focuses solely on supporting WordPress websites, so you'll see that reflected in their offerings. So again, when you're choosing a web hosting company, it depends what type of website you're trying to build. They are also known for their website builder, similar to Hostinger, they have their own, and this is a great option for beginners. Their plans offer SSL certificates, domain names, and custom email, depending on the tier you choose. Bluehost is a great, straightforward web hosting company, and if you're just looking for basic functionality, this is a great choice. Now moving on to number three, our last web hosting company, WP Engine. Now WP Engine focuses solely on WordPress websites. So if you're not building a WordPress website, it might not be the best option for you, but as you'll notice, a lot of these web hosting companies focus on WordPress because it's the most popular CMS out there by far. So that is why you'll see that reflected. Now, WB provides hosting for over 1.5 million websites worldwide, but they have more of a focus on business WordPress websites. So fun fact, SoundCloud is actually a client of WP Engine. Now, because they're focused a bit more on business, you'll see that reflected in their payment plans. So they start with a startup option, moving all the way to enterprise, and their payment plans start as low as $25 USD per month. 
Now I know we're talking about portfolio websites and maybe this is heavy handed for a portfolio website, but it depends how you define portfolio website. For instance, if you're looking to have e-commerce functionality on your website, then this is a great option because if you're looking to turn it from just a portfolio website into a way to generate passive income, let's say hosting eBooks on your website, courses, seminars, then this might be a better option for you. Now, WP actually have client management and billing tools. So again, if you're thinking of this portfolio website as not only a way of attracting clients, but using it for those purposes, then this might be a good alternative to you. Now I'm giving you options because I really want to be able to help evolve the way maybe you think of a portfolio website. Again, just summarizing that WP, they offer SSL certificates, domain, and a lot of features, but more so cater to a business clientele. Now, I hope that helped you choose a great web hosting company for your portfolio website. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Also, you can always reach out to me directly on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Instagram. I'm here to help you get the digital marketing job of your dreams. I'm hoping that this video will help you get one step closer to building that website, knowing everything you need to know so you can apply for that job, woo that employer, and get your foot in the door for 2022. And if you'd like to take advantage of my hosting or promo code, remember it is digital marketing by Gina. Use at checkout for your savings on your payment plans. I appreciate all the love and support on my recent videos. Let's continue talking to each other, empowering and inspiring to build up our digital marketing community and hit our goals for 2022. Thanks so much for watching.